and I got hit over the head several times. It was 2007, six staples and multiple other injuries in Whitley County. Hit here, hit there. Um, I got blood vessels busted right there in my face. Christopher Brewer said Tony Ramey showed up at his home wanting a gun back. Tony Ramey at the time was a special deputy for the Whitley County Sheriff's Department. I was just wishing somebody would see it, the neighbors, and call the cops, and the cops would get there so it would be over. But he kept saying he was the police, and that was very scary. Well, most people don't even realize there's such a thing as a special deputy or a volunteer deputy or any distinction between the two. Hal Friedman sued Whitley County, the Sheriff's Department, the Sheriff, and Ramey. In 2010, a federal jury said Brewer should get more than $6 million for his injuries. When you give someone a badge and don't supervise or control them, there can be very bad consequences, and that's precisely what I think the verdict indicated. This is where most law enforcement officers are trained in Kentucky, the Department of Criminal Justice Training in Richmond. Records of all certified officers are kept here and complaints against them. But what you won't find here is a list of special deputies. Special deputies are appointed by the sheriff and sworn in. But the difference is state statute says they can't be paid and it doesn't require them to get any training before they serve. A search of Kentucky special deputies will take you to Harlan County. A special deputy there was charged with murder in 2007 and later found not guilty. In Pike County, a special deputy was charged with DUI and later pleaded guilty to reckless driving. I would say that the majority of the public, if they're confronted with an individual who has a badge and indicates that they're um, a deputy of some kind, is going to assume that person has lawful authority to do what they're doing. But that may not always be the case. It can be hard to figure out which deputies are special deputies and don't require training and which are certified by the state, especially in Breathitt County, where the department has six special deputies. Recently, the Sheriff's Department made a front page drug bust with federal marshals. Also, in the same time frame, this arrest citation shows a special deputy made a meth arrest. He writes in his report that he was running surveillance on drug complaints. Being a special deputy, he is not required to have training. We watch deputies come in and out of the Breathitt County Sheriff's Office for nearly an entire day, wearing sheriff's uniforms, carrying guns, even driving four-wheel drive SUVs. And if you're curious who they belong to, just look on the driver's side door. Inside this patrol car, the Kentucky Uniform Citation Book. Hey, Sheriff, how are you? All right. Hey, Miranda Combs, how there are you, you doing? Sheriff Clemens? This is Breathitt County Sheriff Ray Clemens. He told us he has one certified deputy and six special deputies. And they do anything that any of any other right, deputy would do. Anything at, uh... Clemens told us his special deputies are trained, but that he'd have to look at the bylaws to tell us more. We didn't make an appointment for our interview. Are they paid? No, uh -uh. But they drive they drive yeah. your vehicles. Right, they monitor. Do they carry your weapons? Yeah. yeah. So they do all that. Yeah. Do they take their vehicles home? Yeah. yeah That's they, just part of the deal. Yeah. yeah. They volunteer. They don't get no pay. See. We just got one pay day. That's all we've got. Do you understand people's concerns that you know sometimes if if they are volunteers that they may not be as up to date on training as say your certified deputy would be? Do you well, see that that would be an issue? Well, we've had it been here for eight or nine years. You know, been through the training years years ago. You know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, they do anything that we can do, you know what I'm saying. So we wanted to see if the Department of Criminal Justice Training had any record of them. Turns out there's not a single record of training for four of the seven special deputies. As for the other three, one last had training in 1995, another in 1989. The most current was in 2011, an online class that took five hours. In Anderson County, special deputies don't do everything certified deputies do. In fact, they are specialized. Uh, I have two. One is a pilot, the other a chaplain. They are sworn. Uh, it is filed in the clerk's office as required by statute. Both used, Sheriff Troy Young says, in special circumstances only. They aren't given sheriff's cars or weapons, and they don't wear a uniform matching the sheriff. It's up to each individual sheriff to follow the statute as far as how he's going to utilize them, if he does. 